What is up, YouTube? It's your girl, Evelyn, and today I am bringing you my top five lesbian ships from television. So sit back, enjoy the video, and don't forget to add your favorite ship in the comment section below. As always, there will be spoilers, so proceed with caution. I can't do this. We can do this. Okay, we can be there for Buffy. Buffy's sidekick Willow and her Wiccan girlfriend Tara are two halves of one of the first lesbian ships on primetime television. Shy Tara and plucky Willow slowly fell in love over the course of Buffy's fourth season. And although Tara's fate is considered one of the most prominent examples of the barrier gaze trope, Boo. Twillow's chemistry was scorching and their love story adorable. And despite their unfortunate ending, they paved the way for the steamier lesbian ships that came after them. Talk about another thing that starts with pra and ends in posal. Even though the world was ending, I meant every word. Nicole Hot and Waverly Earp, the best thing to ever come out of a town called Purgatory. The supernatural Western Winona Earp is a campy good time, but also really, really gay. Nicole and Waverly are in a committed long-term relationship and display just as much affection, if not more, than the heterosexual couples on the show. But Way Hot is more than just super sexy eye candy. Way Hot saved Winona Earp. And if you're interested in exactly how a ship saved a show, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I have an upcoming video all about it. Maybe life should be about more than just surviving. Don't we deserve better than that? Maybe we do. What do you get when two bad boss bitches come together in a post-apocalyptic world overrun by weird cults and lots of moral ambiguity? Wet ass pussy. <laughs> the rise and fall of Klexa, a ship that was somehow created and destroyed in the same episode. Clark, Lexa, and the enemies to lovers trope they fit so neatly into were as problematic as they were popular. And despite the breakneck pace of their courtship, viewers just couldn't get enough. So when Lexa took a post-coital bullet to the gut, Klexa fans mobilized. And not long after, Klexicon, a yearly convention dedicated to queer representation, was born. Which is an impressive feat for any ship, especially one that only lasted 42 minutes. I love you. I love you. Come here. Please don't go. Tibet, the most tumultuous ship on the list, is not for the faint of heart. Adultery, divorce, kidnapping, a miscarriage, they've pretty much been through it all. But the longest lasting L word couple is second to none when it comes to chemistry. As toxic as Tibet can sometimes be, there's honestly nothing that will keep me from rooting for these two crazy kids. They are iconic. They are OTP. They are currently not together, but. How many more times am I gonna hurt you? 
You are the most dear thing to me in all the world. I love you, Zena. I love you too, Gabrielle. Do Zena and Gabrielle have an official ship name? Did they ever actually get together? Are they still the greatest lesbian ship of all time? As I'm sure you know, the 90s was a very different landscape when it came to televising lesbian relationships. There may have been a plethora of very special episodes where straight characters dipped a toe into the lesbian pool, but there were far fewer depictions of actual queer women having actual queer relationships. And that was the landscape Xena Warrior Princess first aired. Xena took the concept of subtext, a way for writers to out characters without actually outing them, to brand new heights. Even stealthily adding a few kisses between Xena and Gabrielle during the show's six season run. And once fans picked up on the subtext, Xena went from being a fantasy show about kick-ass women to a full-fledged phenomenon with Xena becoming a bona fide lesbian icon. Xena and Gabrielle's legacy easily eclipses every other lesbian ship in existence, because without them, there would be no other lesbian ships in existence. You don't have to be fluent in Spanish to fall in love with the intense relationship between Amar a Muertes, Juliana, and Valentina. The Fosters are mature, committed, and deeply in love with each other. You can't ask for a better ship. Brittany and Santana began as besties with benefits and ended as wifeys for life. Thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to let me know which lesbian ship is your personal favorite and why. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one and I'll see you next week.